hello. Hi, are you? Oh, okay, lick the microphone. Yes, go. Oh. Okay, good morning. <laughs> oh. He's ready to lick. You make it hard to talk when you keep licking me in, in the face. <laughs> anyway, good morning. From Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Argo, sit. I'm trying to get him in the shot because he's the famous one. Right, dog? <laughs> anyway, today is Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm trying to get his leash unwrapped around his foot. Which means, oh, tomorrow's tax day. It is a little chillier, as you can see, on my beanie or toque. It's uh, 39 degrees, <clears throat> but I don't need the heavy coat, so it's an improvement and no wind. So, but I'm not necessarily here to talk about the weather. <laughs> of course, I'm here to brag on this dog. I'm trying to decide where I should be. Maybe right here is fine. So, let me flip this around. And you'll see in just a second. Okay. So first off, we have the Manitoulin. And they're looking like they're getting pretty close to high pool. <clears throat> and I did not check marine traffic to see where they're headed. A lot of the time they're headed here. Well, the steel plant at least. And you can see they were fitted for a front mount unloading boom. Now, that obviously was not part of the original ship design. And of course, there are benefits to either, you know, the front mount like this or the more traditional rear mount um, as to where they can unload and how they can unload. So I don't know enough to say if one is more ideal than the other. Maybe it just depends on where they plan to unload that ship. So. But yes, there's the Manitoulin. And here we have, I'll do the slow pan. So they're tearing down those, at least I think they're tearing down those old buildings there. unsure about that building if it'll be staying or not again I do not have any inside information at all you can kind of see what's left of that uh, temporary structure they built over the winter it's well, mostly gone <laughs> and I don't know about the fate of this building here in the foreground And you can just kind of see the new construction there behind it. We'll keep going past the stop logs. That is the, uh, at least I think that is the apparatus to how they lift them. The stop logs, that yellow thing, I think that is how they like chain it or whatever to the stop logs, if I remember right. Keep going. Got some little calmer water, which is nice after the previous two windy days. Oh, and there is the second. It's the Joyce L. Van Eckevort. And I did cheat because when I saw the double, I looked on marine traffic because I don't know the uh, Van Eckevort um, tug barge as well enough to be able to identify him from that far away. So there we go, there's our, there's our double. If you hear the buzz, that means the gate's opening. I don't know if I necessarily need to hang out for that. It takes a while for that to open. I've showed it a lot before, 
and longer videos don't tend to do very well. If you saw the line go slack there. And you see someone coming along there to unhook the line. like that. It looks like she's moving. Maybe her horn's broken. She's definitely moving though. Maybe they're just being considerate on the weekend. A lot of theories. There we go, that's the Manitoulin. As they make their exit from the lock. No, spin over here. Oh, my arm's getting caught in the fence. There we go. And there is the Joy Cell Van Eckevort waiting for them to pass so uh, they can then occupy that lock. <laughs> That's gonna do it. We're gonna be on our way. Look at that good boy. Keeping us safe from the squirrels. You ready to go? Well, let's go then. All right, that's it. We will catch you all later. Have a good day.